Hello Virgo, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome, welcome to your reading, okay? And Virgo, if you're new here and we haven't met, uh, my name is Joe and I will be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Virgo in any of those placements in your chart, this is just a popular reading for you, okay? Do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, don't try to force or fit anything, and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them. Or if a title catches your attention, that's why they're timeless. Do feel free to browse my channel, you might want to check some of the other readings I've done for you in the past, but Virgo, do yourself a favor, don't just focus on your sun sign, you might want to check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising and Venus. And then you might want to check some of the readings for those specific signs, especially if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you or you feel connected to somehow, okay? It's usually because your messages are coming stronger from those placements. That sometimes happens, it all depends on your current life path, okay? But still, there's always additional messages that come from those placements that we can always benefit from hearing. Last but not least, uh, Virgo, please do subscribe, subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's the best way to support the channel and I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. And also please do um, share my readings if you think you might know someone who might benefit from listening to these messages. Okay, it might help someone, you never know. Okay, there you are. And thanks to all of you who have already liked, commented, shared, subscribed, and have given kind donations. I truly appreciate it very much. All right, Virgo. All right. Let's see. Part of the matter, what this reading is about, or for some of you, is current energy you're dealing with. Ace of Cups, that's a very nice energy to start with, okay? It's just overflowing love, joy. It's, um, it's divine support, okay? Some healing for some of you, forgiveness, okay? And self, more than anything, is very important, self-love, okay? Some of you have probably come into this feeling of overwhelming joy and love after something that you went through. It could be almost the beginning or, you know, the result of a spiritual awakening for some of you. Okay, we'll see. It's very divine. Oof. The energy that is crossing you and is challenging you, or a blockage, is the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay, it's about something. You know, it's about something that is divinely meant for you, Virgo. What is block? Why? What is blocking this energy? Okay. This could be a relationship, a dream job. Take it the best way it resonates for you. So, okay, this Ace of Cups has to come into place, okay? So that then we can connect with this divine thing that is meant for us. It could be even a, a, a purpose, okay? Let me lay a few more and then we'll see what's going on. Whoa. Crowning you in your conscious mind, you are constantly thinking about this or you are aware of this somehow. It's the Ten of Wands. Okay, very go. You're constantly thinking about the pain, how you were backstabbed, betrayed, cheated, played, taken by a fool. Okay. 
you had high hopes about something and they still someone or something hurt you backstabbed you and did you dirty okay so now it's time to heal so this is something that was divinely meant for you to grow okay for you to come into divine union with something or someone even within yourself okay so I get a lot of uh, spiritual awakening energy here after something but you're always thinking about how badly betrayed you were that you are blocking what is meant for you that's why it's blocked because you're constantly thinking how you were backstabbed and hurt. What is that? Sorry, I just. Below you, in your subconscious mind, you're not aware of this, and you should because this is your divine higher self or divine trying to tell you this. Okay, very good. Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, it's time to put an end to something. Okay, it's time for you to allow maybe this to come to an end so that then you can finally transform so that things can change for you. Okay, you have to accept this. You have to allow it to come. It's happening for you, okay? It's a nice transformation. Painful, very painful. But go ask a butterfly how painful their transformation was. If they could speak, you would be surprised. The amount of pain that they have to go through to become that beautiful butterfly. When they're in that cocoon, they're literally nothing but just it's like a mulch. It's, it's just behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, or it's just the energy that's pushing you through this. The reason why. Of why it's happening. It's a chariot, Cancerian energy. This is for you to to move on, to gain some type of confidence for some of you. Okay. To finally take control of your life. To be behind the steering wheel and the driver's seat. But it's more than anything taking that control of your life. And to lead. Lead the way. Okay. Some of you have been stuck, okay, for too long, and it's time. It's time to change something. That's what this death card is, is that change, that, that butterfly. And it's painful. It's like I said, it's that, you know, that butterfly, when they transform, like from a caterpillar, during that mush, mushy inside of the cocoon okay in front of you where you headed to what's coming towards you is the ten of cups from the ace to the ten see 
right next together. Okay? You have to understand that there is something that is divinely meant for you. Very cool. But uh, you have to accept some ending here. Tense are about endings. Ten of Swords. You have, to, you have to transform this energy. You have to get out of this negative, dark energy of feeling betrayed. To feeling grateful. That's a good one, right? Talk about transformations. You can do that. That's what you, you're supposed to do here. And you have to do it through pure love. Right here. Okay? This is a spiritual awakening. For you to finally see what you truly have in life. And if not to finally reach something that you have been trying to manifest, which is this ton of cup energy. Okay? But it all starts with in you. Remember that. Okay? So you have to go through the whole process, that painful process, okay? But now you have to transform that Ten of Swords into the Ten of Cups, okay? So, uh, reading about transformations, not just with you, but how you do things, how you perceive things, how you value things, okay? I don't know what you went through, and I know, I understand your pain. I don't know what you went through, but I understand your pain, okay? So you should see or respond to situation, Six of Swords, time to move on to something better, calmer, to calmer waters, okay? Hanging your head low, humble, sad, disappointed, okay? But you must move on, okay? To something that is divinely meant for you to a higher purpose that's the lover's energy surrounding you influencing you inspiring you see of swords okay it's about being true and loyal to yourself and accepting the truth of things understanding why Things happened the way they did, okay? Now we have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. See, this is a, it's an amazing reading. It's about going through the whole damn thing. In the mind and in the emotional state. Some type of ascension, some type of movement, some type of growth, understanding, becoming a better version of yourself, more rational, more emotionally stable, satisfied, understanding what pain is all about. You know, you see, it hurts so much, you're constantly thinking about it, that now you're understanding the value of pain. And you're starting to see, yes, pain does teach us lessons. And it's so pain painful that I would not use it even on my worst enemy. Some type of empathy for some of you. It's starting to grow out of this situation because you're understanding true pain hopes and fears five of swords just you know I don't want to deal with people that like to hurt other people I don't want to deal with people who are always in this constant 
fighting. I don't want to engage with these energies anymore. And that's good. And you shouldn't. Okay? Because you understand where it's, you know, playing with these words. Now you understand how badly you can hurt, hurt right? It's a lot of clarity and understanding. Okay? A lot of sword energy here. A lot of mental energy. You're locked up in your thoughts. Thinking, analyzing, studying, understanding, comprehending. How this works. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is pentacles. I think it's both. It is both. See, they're telling you that after all this, there will be a brand new beginning for you. It's going to be very stable in many ways. Okay. Something with stability, you're going to be stable, you're going to feel safe, secure. It's a brand new beginning, a new opportunity for you. But you have to go through this, okay? You have to allow, you have to allow the pain, you have to allow the endings, you have to understand what you have to go through here, okay? It's part of your growth. You're going to become a much better version of yourself. That lover's energy is something divinely meant for you. It's a spiritual awakening, like I said, for some of you. I think some of you are receiving divine gifts. And you will be using them to maybe even, you know, support yourself financially. And also, you know, when we help others through our experience, we also heal at the same time. When we help others heal, we heal at the same time. That's how it works. And it's going to be some type of inter interchange. And it's going to benefit you financially and in many ways. Some of you might start becoming, you know, I don't know, maybe even tarot readers or you'll start some type of spiritual business or healing business. Okay. You might even publish a book or start a YouTube channel like I did or many others. Many of us do, you know. You've been through it, Virgo. You've been through a lot here. And it's it's divinely meant. And you have to be grateful for it. Okay? It's not easy. You will understand later. You will. Okay? told you you're becoming a better version of yourself, right? There you are. High Priestess, spicy and energy. Yeah. Stop dwelling on the stress and the pain and the... Stop thinking about the betrayal all the time. You have to transform this energy. We have the Judgment and then the Empress. It's... Judgment is answering to this calling. It's divine. Okay, you're about this close to closing a cycle. That close to closing the cycle. But you have to stop dwelling in this energy of, oh God, there's chills, strong confirmation, okay? You have to stop dwelling in this energy of, I've been hurt, I've been in pain. All I did, I tried to be, I tried to do the right thing and I still got hurt. I understand that. I, I perfectly understand that. Takes one to know one. <laughs> you're becoming a better version of yourself. You're growing, you're ascending. Congratulations, it's a spiritual awakening. Have faith, okay? Be easy on yourself and embrace the mystery. And understand that which you can't see, there's a reason why. Okay, 
Let's get additional messages from this deck and then we'll close the reading with a Woodland Warden Swordle deck. This is just additional messages, advice, or warnings in case I'm missing something. Wow, what a reading. What a painful reading. What a beautiful reading. Sometimes I've said it before. Sometimes the most beautiful gifts from the divine are the ones that hurt the most. They're meant to hurt. They're the ones that make us grow and become a better version of ourselves. And you have to be thankful for that. What else you want to tell Virgo regarding this reading, please? That's it. One more. Okay. They said one more. Strange. New path, new beginning. Okay. It's time for a new beginning. Okay, actually, I got two that fell, but they told me. But the first one that flew out is the lovers again. Virgo, there's something meant for you. Okay. Allow this transformation to happen, please. Go through the pain, transform it, understand why you're going through it. And then something amazing is going to come to you once you heal and go through this, okay? And what are these two cards? Oh my god. Two of Cups, that's finally meeting with something that vibrates at the same frequency as you do. It's looking eye to eye with a job, dream job, with a relationship, with another person, or even just within yourself, okay? It's almost like the lover's energy, but healing, okay? Heal. Queen of Swords. Try to understand what's happening, why you're going through this, okay? You don't have to take quick decisions, quick actions, okay? Use the sword gently, okay? Oh. Remember I told you about pain? You're learning what pain is all about now. You would never wish that on your, even on your worst enemy. It's about you learning how to use the sword and how to, you know, when you have to slay a dragon, but you have to do it with love, you know, not very aggressively, but you have to slay it. Sometimes we have to do that in life, you know. It still hurts, but at least you're doing it from a better point of understanding. Okay? And that means a lot. Okay, let's close the ring the Woodland Wardens. Archangel Raphael. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you heal. As for some of you. What other messages do you have for Virgo regarding this reading, please? The Woodland Warden's Oracle deck. What other messages do you have for Virgo? This one. Remember, this message may or may not be related to the reading, but it may be something that you need just to additionally hear as you go through this. Okay? You have the porcupine and the anemone, which means boundaries. 
number 38. Right there. Boundary says, the porcupine with its impressive quills is a well-known symbol of self-defense. According to a legend common among Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe tribes, the porcupine got its quills by placing the branches of a hawthorn tree on its back, defending itself against the bear. I think that's African. Nanabosho, the trickster spirit in Ojibwe Mythia, saw the porcupine's cleverness and fashioned it a coat of quills to wear from then on. Just as a porcupine curls into a ball to defend itself from predators, the anemone flower turns inward and down during rainstorms, protecting, protecting its delicate petals from damage. In the upright position, it says that you cannot help others unless you first help yourself. Maintain healthy boundaries around your time and energy, giving generously only once you are sufficiently fed. And in the reverse, it says that you should take care not to judge others who seem bristly or closed off. Consider that they may have good reason to protect themselves from harm. Respect their boundaries, allowing them time to open up on their own terms. Two questions you have to ask yourself with this card is, Oh, it's three questions. How can I ensure my needs are met? Then, have I established healthy boundaries around my time and energy? You do have to establish boundaries with this five sword energy in your hopes and fears. You don't want to deal with this energies anymore. Just drop your swords, walk away. And the other question is, do I respect the boundaries of others? Okay. Brigo, that's the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance that you're seeking at this moment of your life. Okay. If you do like it, if you enjoy it, if, you, if it does help you somehow, please do hit the like button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I would truly totally appreciate it very much. Okay. And I do hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed, Virgo. Goodbye.